Welcome to yet another tutorial brought to you by Novice Industries. Today I'm going to be making a multi-layer composition using Adobe, Fo using Adobe Photoshop. Okay, what do I mean by a multi-layer composition? I'm going to use two or three images, two or three different pictures, and tweak them and do what I want to do to make one collective image at the end here. And I'm going to use this for the homepage of a website. This message brought to you by Novice Industries. Com. Okay, now as you can see here, I have my subject here, my subjects rather, in this picture. And I'm going to use this picture. I'm going to use this selection tool. Now, if you didn't know, you've got, you can use your uh, shortcut keys on your keyboard to change tools here. B for brush. Cover their faces here to conceal their identities. Keep their identity secret. And I'm going to use the selection tool, which is V. Okay, and I'm going to hold down, I'm going to click down, and I'm going to hold shift, and I'm going to drag it over here. Let go. Booyah, booyah. Now I'd already opened up a new image here. And I made it pretty big, 1280 by 1000 here. And this is going to be the cover page for a website. That's why it's so large. Now, I've already predetermined what I want to do here to a certain degree. I am going to position these guys over here. And I'm also going to go to edit transform scale what does that do you might ask watch and learn see your arrows here we're gonna click down we're gonna drag her up there I'm gonna stretch it out as you can see the guitar and their feet are cut out of the picture so I'm gonna go ahead and keep that at the bottom there we go once you get your once you get your size going, you figure out what you want. Go ahead and click enter, and you're set there. Now, what I'm going to do next is I'm going to cut all the background out of this picture. The only thing that's going to be left will be the two officers here. So, what I'm going to use for that is the polygonal lasso tool. If you don't have it already selected, you right click over here on the lasso tool, and the polygonal lasso tool is my personal favorite. Um, magnetic, I've, I've used it a few times. Blah, blah, blah. Bottom line, I'm using polygonal lasso tool. I suggest this uh, weapon for anyone. But first, I'm going to hit the Z button here. I'm going to zoom in because what I'm doing here is going to require a little bit of precision. Precision. Okay, and I also suggest if, you got, if you're getting into Photoshop and you want to you wanna go all at it, go, go all out. Go ahead and get yourself a pen tablet, a PC, pen, mouse, whatever you want to call it, okay? It sure helps me. So, back here now. We're going to hit L for the lasso tool once again. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to trace the outline. And the way, the way I'm going to go about cutting these guys out is a little different. I'm going to just concentrate on getting big chunks of the background out of here. Make your uh, circle, whatever shape. You come back around to, to where you started and meet the end. Right there. Click delete. And you know, I'm not going to waste my time. I'm just going to go ahead and trace around my subject here. I'm going to go ahead and speed up this process here in just a second. As you can see, if you didn't notice, when you get to the edge there in just a second, you can go outside of the edge. Okay, and click. I'm going to click there, and I'm going to click here. I'm going to click here. I'm going to go back up, and I'm going to cut this section out. So meet where you started, click, hit delete. Whoops. Excellent hit it, you can just make your shape again and then leave it and then start another one. And since we're on the edge there, I'm gonna start here once again. Here's another example, pretty much same idea what I'm doing here. I'm gonna go up here. And I'm gonna cut around, might as well meet him. I am going to leave the two pretty much where they're at. So delete. You see where I'm getting at here? Then you've always got your preview window here. You can move this around. Move the whole thing. Pretty cool, huh? Okay, so I'm going to keep doing this. 
I'm gonna speed up this process, so. If, if you have a little bit of difficulty with what's going on, you can always rewind whatever have you, whatever you want to call it. Watch the video again if you need to. Uh, you stick with us. We're gonna go. We're gonna teach a lot of things here, in all of us industries. So click that yellow subscribe button if you haven't done it yet. Come back. Well, well, this, this is, is a service for, for the people. people okay? okay. Creativity, Creativity is a very important thing. thing. And okay, we're not gonna worry about his head here. I'm gonna use something else for the head of the two officers. We'll save that treat for later. With this pen tablet, as I talked about, you get your paintbrush out, and there are other programs that you can use as well to where you're you're drawing and you're painting, you know. We got a little crack here, a little crevice. Gonna get rid of that. Use your best judgment. See if you can't find those right, the proper shapes. Okay, now as you can see, I got I got everybody cut out here, the two officers, and I'm going to put something on those shoulders there. Double click in your gray area, you can go and access your files, okay, without just dragging them in and finding them. So that kind of saves you a little bit of time pick this file here and I got my selection tool so we're gonna click on this guy and we're gonna use him edit transform I'm gonna rotate this and I'm gonna duplicate layer right click on the layer that's the mask, duplicate layer, edit, transform, I'm going to flip horizontal, you can do all this that I'm doing with any image, okay, any image at all. See what it did there? There we go, and I'm going to add a filter. What I'm going to do is, since this is still pretty much the original image, and it's a picture, and it looks real, and it doesn't really match these masks up here, I'm going to add a filter to this layer, okay? And select these guys. Filter. Artistic cutout. That's what we're going to use right there. Now I'm going to try to get to match this green here, so I'm going to go to Image, Adjustments, Exposure. Go to image adjustments, replace color. I'm gonna click here. This is what you pick the color that you're gonna replace. And I want to find out what this color is. So we're gonna go to replace color. I want that. So I'm going to go here. This is the color code. Right click, copy that. Select our policeman here. Replace color. Boom. Paste. Ah, that's not as good as I wanted, but we'll see what we can do here. Maybe that's actually. It works for me right there, okay. I'm gonna tweak this just a little bit again here with the exposure. Still a little bright. <clears throat> okay, now one more thing. We've got this picture here. Also going to go to edit, transform, scale. If you hit control F, you can use the same filter that you used previously. There we go. 
Now I'm gonna I'm gonna tweak this myself here, and this is gonna end up being the homepage for NoviceIndustries.com here, uh, real quick. Like as soon as I get this done and taken care of. So what I'm gonna do the next tutorial, I'm gonna finish this up and put my header on there and the link section and all that. Then we're gonna go ahead and get on Dreamweaver, and I'm gonna show you how to use Adobe Dreamweaver to uh, to basically lay out your homepage on your website. We're gonna do the best we can to get you learned on this too yet. So be sure to tune in again and once again click on that yellow button and subscribe and bring your ass back here and learn something, okay? Quit watching that TV. Get over here and let's let's learn something. Alright? I'm gonna post a link to where you can get a free trial download of Adobe Photoshop. Figure out if it's worth uh if it's good enough for you or not. So until next time. Ta ta.